Congratulations! You came back! You're, You're here! You're back! And you apparently want to hear more answers to more questions. Like what we actually do all day. <laughs> so, we're going to start with Jeff's question. And Jeff's question is kind of long, but we're going to answer it in two parts. So, the first part is, um, did anyone tell you, Hey Chelsea, you would make an awesome nun! And if so, did that play a role in your decision? So, the answer to that would be no. I actually had the opposite reaction. A lot of people, when they found out I was discerning, were like, but you're too pretty to be a nun. Or they would say, like, you make such a great mom. Because I was a nanny and, like, I taught kids piano and stuff. So I was with kids a lot. And so people just assumed that I would be a mother. And, um... So I actually had the opposite reaction to this. Most people would be like, don't be a nun. <laughs> so until I actually had applied to enter, and then people are like, oh, yeah, you'd make a great nun. By so, the way, that's a great idea. <laughs> I like, oh, thank you for that. <laughs> um, so. For me, it was really the same experience. Chelsea really touched on a lot of things that I had. Um, my friend said the same thing. Like, Carly, um, you're going to be a soccer mom and drive a minivan. like, And you're not the girl that I want to just date for fun. You're the girl I want to marry. Like, and I, I just was really impressed by that of like, oh my gosh, what am I, what am I doing? Lord, is this, is this really a true vocation that you're, you're calling me to? So that question was never asked mm -hmm. of me, but <laughs> a long story short, I was at daily mass about a week before I, I entered, and I, after communion, this um, woman came up to me, and at first I didn't realize she was a sister, and she goes, um, excuse me, excuse me, um, have you ever considered being a nun? <laughs> I kind of looked at her, and I was like, uh, I'm entering next week. <laughs> and she was like, oh, okay, great. I guess I, I saw that in you and it was it was actually kind of cool to be like yes I am responding Lord and that's cool that someone else recognized that so, so our next question is from Cyrene <clears throat> and Cyrene asked this a while ago and she asked do you take classes and if Notice so what classes do you take if we you couldn't tell before we, we finish postulancy <laughs> we have to read all these books no just kidding <laughs> <laughs> um right now we are starting a new class through the seminary and we're taking a class on just the the good shepherd and the presence of the good shepherd in old testament which yeah. i'm really excited about yeah. um we're taking classes through Pope Paul VI Institute. Mm -hmm. so we're taking, we're taking sacramental theology. We'll start that tomorrow. And we already took Christology and Catechism 101. Mm -hmm. So just really getting the basics of the faith, especially on our um, charism of being able to minister right. to others. Yeah, so it's a really good foundation for us. When people have questions for us, that way we can answer them knowledgeably and well, hopefully. <laughs> so, so what do postulants do all day? We study, we pray, and we clean. Yeah, so like in addition to those two <laughs> classes that we talked about, we have formation classes with Sister Rebecca. Yeah. Which it's like how to be a nun 101. And almost. how to be a Pauline, too. Yeah. So it's like a little like, bit Pauline connection. Yeah, That's and good. it's so good. So, um, but like Carly said, there are three main things we do all day. We study. Yeah. We pray and we clean. And so. then on top of all that, we participate in the apostolate like what we're doing right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is apostolate. You guys are part of our apostolate. Welcome to the family. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we also work in the book center and um, stuff like that. Tomorrow she's getting up at 6.15 to do a J club. Yeah. Which <gasps> means that I get to go talk to 800 kids with Sister Andrew and Sister Donna who live in our community. Um, and we'll be visiting all of these classes and all these kids and we're able to bring some of our books to them, so um, that'll be really exciting, and I'm excited about it. So that's, that's what we that. do. That's All what we the time. do. <laughs> like, so like that, it's a good life. <laughs> so, our last question here is from uh, my man Lucas. Oh yeah. So, how do you train in your ninja ways? Because well, well, let me just let me just let me just show we'll just you. Just show you. It would be better. So we exercise like three times a week, maybe two, and it may look like a convent, but this is actually a ninja training facility. So in case any spiritual battle, warfare, like just like St. Paul, we do it to win an imperishable crap. I'm ready for any ninja. Oh!